Well, good afternoon, everybody. As you can see, my CB is happily idling over there, but uh, it actually has a, a pretty big problem. I'm going to tell you all about it. Let me turn it off quickly. All right, well, a couple of times now when I've been riding, out riding, um, I've had problems with the bike just cutting out. Um, now, as I'm sure you're all aware, those of you who've been following my videos, there is a problem with this bike's uh, charging circuit. So um, it's not the regulator. It must be the stator, which sits inside the engine over here somewhere. I'm not in the mood to strip the whole engine down, to be honest. Not just yet, considering it's only a small problem. If on a fully charged battery, I can ride for a couple days and I don't need to worry about uh, anything because it is slightly charging. It's a strange thing. I guess the magnets have probably demagnetized. Um, anyway, I'll get into that in a later video because uh, I do plan to replace it. Anyway, because it's not really charging enough to keep the engine running, occasionally it'll cut out. When I say cut out, it loses all power. It can still idle along, but you can't accelerate. And that is due to a little bit, a little part that's uh, damaged. Okay, in fact, I've just gotten a new one shipped to me. When I say new, I'm being a bit uh, liberal. It's actually second hand. Um, okay, oh, I've got a bunch of new spark plugs here. These are fake NGKs. See how they work. Um, yeah, but anyway, here's the part I'm talking about. Okay, I actually ordered this off the Chinese internet. There's a website called Taobao and you can find just about anything on there. Luckily, CB parts seem to be quite, uh, I wouldn't say common. Common's the wrong, the wrong word, but there are a few of them around. Like this was the only one, but I got it. Now this, now correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's called a starter relay or perhaps a main relay. Okay. This is a, a relay. And what it does is um, you connect the positive and the negative to here. And uh, when you start the bike, it clicks over inside here and actually causes the starter to kick in. And also, if this is faulty, um, basically all the electronics on the bike don't work well. Okay, um, I believe that the charging circuit runs through here as well. And uh, yeah, basically what's been happening is the one that's in here, I'll pull it out and show you, it's fairly badly damaged because this is supposed to take a 30 amp fuse okay over here now let me show you a 30 amp fuse I happen to have a few of them here because I'm going to be replacing well, that one here's the one that came with my second hand unit and as you can see it is actually blown okay the way to tell if a fuse is blown or not is you look inside the look inside the plastic there if the wire is broken, it is blown. Okay, you can see in this one, the wire is intact. So this one's fine. Okay, so I'm going to be putting this one in here. Okay, this is 30 amp fuse. Now, um, let me get back to the reason why I'm replacing this in the first place. This is China. These bikes are incredibly rare in China. Okay, any Japanese bike is rare in China, you know. Um, especially older ones like this. When something goes wrong, They'll basically, they'll do whatever they can to get it running again. Which, unfortunately for me, when it came to this bike, obviously the fuse blew. And they couldn't find another 30 amp fuse anywhere. And it was actually quite difficult. I had to ask quite a few little uh, car repair shops until I found one of these. So what they did was they found the closest thing at hand, which happened to be um, a 10 amp fuse, which was the wrong wrong voltage. They stuck it in there. Now it got incredibly hot because there's obviously always uh, Power going through this fuse um, I'm guessing probably when you start it pulls power through here and maybe even when the bikes running power is constantly going through this fuse So what happened was that 10 amp fuse got incredibly hot and melted When it melted it damaged all the plastics around here and all the connectors inside so right now I've managed to sort of jury rig it so it works, but uh, it's not ideal. It still cuts out. You know, if I take this thing for a power wash or something, uh, you know, then it doesn't want to start afterwards, you know, stupid things like that. So I'm going to pull the other one out. I'll show you what it's all about. Then I'm going to replace it. And what I've also done is I've this I bought separately. Um, this is the wire, sort of wiring harness that connects, you know, connects on top of there, okay. And then this 
I will rewire because the old one of, has been ex exposed to a lot of heat so all the wires have basically deteriorated but I'll show you let me pull it apart and you can see for yourself right first thing we're going to have to do is uh, take the seat off so it's got a little lock here you unlock it seat comes off there we are okay I got some spare coolant and a bunch of tools in there so it's useful uh, next thing I'm going to need is a Phillips screwdriver I do of course have a Phillips screwdriver in here along with a spare battery you know I told you charging issues a spare battery some spare levers uh, all sorts of extra junk that you might need okay so what you need to do then is remove this cover over here all right underneath you'll find this horrible mess now this is the replacement uh, regulator some of the heat you know cooling fins have been broken off but it still works this is an original Honda part so I stuck that in here is the part that I'm going to be replacing. Okay, now let me just unplug this. As you can see, this is not in the greatest of shape, um, and the wires are actually horrible. Look at that. There's even some sorry, some wire exposed over there. Basically, it's a mess, and that's why I want to replace this. Okay. Here is the the, the offending part. Now, um, in order to take this apart, by the way, when you are taking these off. Don't let these two wires touch each other, otherwise it's going to start the bike um, and cause all sorts of mayhem. All right, let me pull it out. As you can see, I replaced the 10 amp fuse with a 15 amp fuse. I know it's not the best thing to do, but I didn't have a choice when I was on the road. Uh, it might look okay, but when you pull this out, you'll see that it's all melted inside there. Can you see that? It's basically, uh, it doesn't make good contact the contacts inside are knackered, so I'm going to basically replace this. Now, before I rewire everything, I have to test if the new um, relay actually works, since it is a second-hand part. I have no idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just plug it straight into the current wires and see what happens. See if the bike starts. All right, so let me do that. All right, now, as luck would have it, I actually do have a whole bunch of Allen keys, you know, stored in the back where the toolkit's supposed to be. It's my own special toolkit. And what you need is you need a 4mm Allen key. And I'm going to just remove these wires here. Okay, can't do it with a camera on. Just bear with me. All right, I'd just like to show you a comparison between the two. Um, here's the new one. All right. Second-hand new one. Here's the old one. Now I've already cleaned this old one up a lot. You see around the terminals here, it was heavily corroded. There was all sorts of rust and nonsense going on there. Of course, uh, you know, the, in there is the real problem that you can't really see. And you can't see here because I've got the fuse in it now. But anyway, that's it. Time to put the new one in and see how it works. All right, so the new one is all connected up here. Uh, it's got a, some rubber boots, you know, to cover everything. I'll, I'll do that later. Now to actually see if it works. Easiest indicator is the lights will come on. Oh, there we go. Lights, lights are on. That means it's good. Let's try start it. Look at that. Wonderful. Secondhand bits of the internet do work sometimes. Anyway, I'll just tell you how lucky I was to find that thing. And uh, let me also tell you the price. I bought it for I think it was 60 RMB which is ridiculously cheap because the same part and it's an original part if you go and try and buy that uh, in Hong Kong or you try to buy it from an ori original Honda dealer it's probably going to be uh, at least 10 times that price you know somewhere around 600 to a thousand I'm guessing um, so yes I think I scored I scored with that one and I don't need to worry about mucking about with this old piece of crap over here I'll keep it as a spare I'll keep a bunch of these uh, 30 amp fuses as a spare, you know, as spares. That's why I went and bought five of them rather than just one. Okay. And yeah, so I'll even, I'll wrap this up in some kind of uh, plastic or something and I'll keep it in there so that if I'm stuck on the side of the road somewhere with a, a major problem, at least I know I always have another. All right. So, you know, I installed that new uh, main relay jobby the other day. I decided I'll just take a look at uh, what's going on here with my battery. Okay, so if I connect it up directly, I'm getting, you know, 13 point whatever. Okay, it's kind of hard to do this one hand. Hang on. Maybe if I uh, rest this on the bike somewhere. Yes, on the tank. 
Okay, I'm going to turn on the ignition. Now I'm getting 12.8 uh, as usual because, you know, like lights are on now, so it's draining a bit of the uh, battery. Now let me show you the cool part. Just hang on. Bloody hell. Let me put this camera properly. Hang on. Alright, so as you can see, it's idling. Uh, let me give it a bit of a rev. Look at that. That is beautiful. You know what that means? That means the bike's charging without any problems. That's brilliant. So, uh, nothing wrong with the stator then. And turns out that the problem all along was that stupid thing that I replaced. That uh, sort of main regulate, uh, sorry, main relay, that uh, starter relay. So this whole time, everything's been fine. You know what this means? That means there's basically nothing wrong with this bike now. Um, but you know what this also means? This means that uh, I went and uh, replaced the regulator and all sorts of other crap for nothing. But it <laughs> doesn't matter, I prefer having the newer parts in anyway. So uh, that's it. If your bike's not charging, I guess that's something you can check as well. Stupid, stupid, stupid little part.